Hey, I'm glad you joined me today. This is Pastor Rick. I want to talk about walking, uh, specifically walking in the Spirit, and what does that mean? The Bible says, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I think most people today are tempted for all different kinds of reasons. Sometimes we're tempted to be discouraged and give up. Sometimes we're tempted to be afraid and not tell somebody what we know that could actually help them. Sometimes we're tempted to uh, tell a little white lie. Sometimes we're tempted not to do what we know we ought to do for whatever various reasons. What he's speaking about here in this passage of Scripture when he says walk in the Spirit is to walk basically by means of the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. To walk means, obviously, you place one foot in front of another. I'm not talking about running through life. We're talking about taking one step after one step after one step through your life. If you stop doing this, like you give up or you're afraid to keep moving forward in your life, you're not walking anymore. Um, you're standing still or even going backward. That's worse. Walking always implies movement, progress, and direction. That's what it means when you say, uh, walk with God. It means moving forward in step with Him, following Him, and confident that the way He is leading you and me is the right way to go. The problem is we're weak. We stumble, or we get distracted, get diverted, take a side track, <laughs> or we get weary and we just stop moving forward in life. But that is the reason why the Holy Spirit has been given to you and to me if you're a believer. Galatians 5.16, and I said it, means basically walk by means of the Spirit. He will help you. One of the highest commendations in the Bible is found in some words about Noah. You know, the guy that built the ark? It says, Noah was a just man. That means he was right before God. He was perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Did you know that? That's what it says. He walked with God. Can that be said of you? That's just a question. I want to suggest to you that you ask God to help you to get up and to follow Him and put your trust in Him and take just one step at a time and another step and another step, especially if you're depressed or discouraged or you're anxious about something. I want to tell you, you can trust God and you follow Him one step at a time. You don't have to know all of the steps that are ahead of you. Just take one step at a time with, with Jesus Christ and He will transform your life. In fact, He said if you follow Him, He'll make you fishers of men. One of my favorite things is fishing for fish, but more important to me is sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with men and women, boys and girls. So I hope you'll join me in that. Let's go for a walk with Jesus this month. And maybe it'll get to be a habit. Just keep on walking with him and you'll never regret it. God bless you.